Hi, this is Bart Polson. This video is a walkthrough of an exercise from Zed Shaw's book, Learn Python the Hard Way. You can get to the text of his book at learnpythonthehardway.org and click on Read the Free HTML Online, and that'll take you to the table of contents. In this video, we're looking at exercise 10, which is called What Was That? And if you click on that, it takes you to this page where it's about escape sequences, which are ways of inserting special characters um, so that Python reads them differently than it would otherwise. Now, here's the text that he's got that he wants us to enter. I'm going to put that into Text Wrangler and explain bit by bit. If you're using a Windows PC, you'll be using Notepad++ most likely. Let me go to Text Wrangler here. And I'm just going to bring in the first line here. The first one is he's creating a variable called tabby underscore cat, tabby cat. And it's a string variable. And so we have tabby cat, which is the name of the new variable, equals is the assignment operator. And then in quotes, we have a string I'm tabbed in. But you see the very first thing in it is this. It's a backslash with a T. That's a Unix code. And it means insert a tab here. And the backslash is a signal to Python to not read this literally the way you normally would. But this means something special and it's going to mean a tab in this case. Next we create another variable called Persian cat, and he's given them funny names, and we have the equals the assignment operator, and then we have this sentence which basically says I'm split on a line, but we have this character stuck right there, and so it becomes split slash non on a line. The Backslash n means a go to a new line, and you put it right there with no spaces because you don't want spaces at the end of the first line or at the beginning of the second line. You want to go straight through, and so you end up with this funny looking text. After that, we have one he calls it backslash cat for, and a double backslash is a way of inserting a single backslash because the first backslash says, don't print this literally, don't read this literally, but make it something special. And the special thing actually is a backslash. So the symbol that serves both as a signal and as the character are the same, coincidentally. After that, he has another uh, variable, a fourth one, called fat cat. And this is where we're using the triple uh, quote marks. Now you can use either single, you can use either single quotes or double quotes. Um, as long as you use the same at the beginning and the end, you're fine. And the nice thing about the triple quotes is you can have single and double quotes inside the text. It doesn't matter. Um, it's only going to stop if it hits triple quotes again. And since that doesn't happen in real life, you don't have to worry about it. But what we have here is tabs. See, the, the back, backslash T is the tab that we had earlier. And so what it's going to do is it's going to make a tab list, and the asterisk here just serves as a bullet point. So we're making a short list. And then this last one actually has two bullet points, but because it has this um, backslash N, it's going to put the last one on a new line. Let's see here. I talk about, oh, by the way, if you want to, you can put the first line, see how it's on the, we have the triple, triple quotes and we go to a new line, we put it here. You can put that first line right up here and you can also put this triple quote right at the end of the last line. And that way there won't print any blank lines in the terminal if, if that's what you want. Um, anyhow, and I believe our last command is to actually print things. Because see, up to this point we're simply defining variables. Now we're actually going to print them or show them in the console. So that's going to be the terminal on a Mac or PowerShell on a PC. Anyhow, I'm going to come over to here now. Uh, let's see, we can save that. I'm going to come over to here. And I'm, I've already switched over to my active folder. So I, my working directory is scripts, which is where these are all stored. You can see I got this big long address to get to scripts, but I've already switched over to that. And I'm just gonna type in the blinking cursor, all in lowercase, the word Python to say, execute this as a Python file. And then the name of it is ex10 for exercise 10, dot py, which indicates that it's a Python file. I hit return, and there we go. You see that the first line, the first thing to print is tabby cat. It says print tabby cat. Well, we come up here, and it says I'm tabbed in, and the first thing it does is it inserts a tab. 
that's what we've got here. It's a pretty big tab, by the way. It's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's eight characters, which is double what you would normally do in Python, but that's what it does. So that's tabbed over. The next one, it says print Persian cat. And what this one does is it splits it right there on the backslash n. And you see, I am split on a line. So this is actually a single line command, but because of the backslash n, it splits it onto two lines. Next, we say print backslash cat. And that's this one right here. I am a backslash cat. And the double backslash ends up printing as a single backslash because it, it tells it to read it not as a code, but as an actual you know symbol thing. And then we have, I'll do a list. The triple quote, and I see, by the way, we have a blank line here. And the reason we have a blank line right there is because the triple quote's right here, but the text doesn't start until the next line. So it's actually printing a blank line because there's nothing right there. Then we have the tab, the tab, the tab. And then we this last one has a tab and it has a new line, which is why grass ends up on its own separate line. And then we have a blank line right here at the bottom. And that's because this closing triple quote is on a separate line from the last item. If we put it on the same line, there wouldn't be a blank line. Anyhow, that's it for um, exercise 10. Hope that was helpful. We'll see you soon.